Now imagine watching your favorite show when suddenly a flash of light triggers something that you never expected, a seizure. For some, this isn't just a nightmare scenario, it's reality. Now, what if I told you that simply closing one eye could cut that risk in half? In this video, we'll be diving into the fascinating science behind photosensitive epilepsy and discovering the strategies to protect yourself and your loved ones from everyday flickers and flashes. And also stay tuned to learn how something as simple as wearing a pair of blue tinted glasses could be your new best friend when it comes to fighting light induced seizures. Hey everybody, welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm optometrist Martin Aguzzi and this channel is all about helping you to see better, see more comfortably and helping you to keep your eyes precious. And I think you'd also love my free eye tips newsletter too. So do sign up to that using the link on the screen or the link I'll leave in the description box below. Now you may have noticed the warnings at the beginning of certain television shows about strobe lighting. For about 3% of people with epilepsy and about 1 in 10,000 in the general US population with photosensitive epilepsy, these warnings are crucial. And today we'll dive into why these warnings matter and what you can do about them. Now you might quite rightly be wondering what on earth seizures have to do with eyes. Well one surprising yet effective method of preventing seizures is closing one eye. And this simple act reduces visual input by a half, uh, decreasing the chances of triggering a seizure. By altering how the brain processes visual stimulus, uh, monocular vision disrupts the synchronization of neural activity, reducing the cortical excitability in the brain's occipital cortex, where visual processing happens. Research published in the Journal of Epilepsy and Behavior discusses how photosensitive epilepsy is often triggered by specific light wavelengths and flickering patterns. The study demonstrates that closing one eye reduces a cortical excitability, which is a core factor in the seizures happening in the first place. And other studies have also revealed that blue tinted lenses like the Zeiss Z1 effectively filters out red light that frequently triggers seizures in photosensitive individuals. On top of this, the Epilepsy Foundation highlights that photosensitivity is more common in children and adolescents with a reduction in prevalency as individuals age. I think it's crucial that individuals and caregivers are aware of these findings and implement protective measures in the daily life of people who might be affected. So why does closing one eye or monocular vision reduce seizures? Effectively, it appears that strobe and flickering lights create too much information and neural excitation that leads to overload in the visual processing part of the brain called the occipital cortex. Closing one eye and to some extent filtering red wavelengths can help in three ways. First of all, it halves the visual input. So when one eye is closed, the overall visual input to the brain is halved. This reduction can decrease the likelihood of triggering seizures and reducing the brain's stimulation from potentially provocative flickering lights or patterns. Two, it changes the brain's visual processing. The brain processes visual information from both eyes. When one eye is closed, it can change the pathways through which the visual stimulus are processed. This can reduce the synchronization of neural firing that often leads to seizures in photosensitive individuals. Reduce visual cortical excitability. So studies have shown that photosensitive epilepsy is linked to increased excitability in certain parts of the brain, particularly the occipital cortex, which processes visual stimulus. Closing one eye helps by mitigating this excitability and limiting the stimulus that provokes uh, this kind of hyperactive response. Now, apart from closing one eye, there are other valuable strategies. First of all, wearing special glasses. Now, while closing one eye offers an immediate and simple protection against visual triggers, glasses with dark um, cobalt blue tinted lenses, like the Zeiss One lens that we talked about earlier on, can provide a more um, targeted approach by filtering out the red colored wavelengths of light that are known to provoke seizures in some. Adjust screen settings. So you can lower the brightness of your screens, use anti-glare filters, and also maintain safe distances from screens. Environmental adjustments. Avoid strong lights and flickering patterns, and ensure that rooms are well lit uh, while you're using screens to make sure that the flickering patterns or the flickering is less effective and less noticeable. And then take breaks. So limit time on the screens and take frequent breaks to reduce exposure. This might be effective because of the cumulative effect of the time you spend on the screens, as well as visual stress. So you might not be wondering what kind of situations may trigger off seizures. Well, here are some types of uh, triggers highlighted by epilepsy organizations. 
First of all, television screens or computer monitors due to flickering or rolling images. A certain video games or types of broadcast uh, content uh, that produce rapid flashes or alternate patterns um, of different colours. Intense strobe lighting like those from alarms or sirens. Natural light such as sunlight, especially when shimmering off, off water or through the slats of blinds. Flickering natural light as well through trees when you're driving or if you're a passenger in a car. And in some rare cases, environmental lighting like fireworks, um, especially when they're set off at a rapid pace. Certain visual patterns, especially stripes of high contrast colours. And then also strobe lights or special lighting effects at live concerts or events. I'll link more information in the description box for those interested in checking that out. Now, whether you're dealing with photo sensitivity yourself or you want to ensure a safe environment for somebody else that you know, uh, knowing the triggers and the measures to take can make all the difference. So be sure to share this video so other people can be informed as well. You know, sometimes all it takes is closing one eye to protect yourself from a seizure. I've done this myself many times in the past and uh, I recommend that even if you're somebody who doesn't have a history of seizures and you're in an environment with lots of flickering strobe lights and it feels strange to you, close one eye and then get yourself out of that environment. Leave me a comment in the comment section below if you've done this before or if you're going to start doing this going forward. Also, do sign up for my newsletter for more actionable eye care tips on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to catching you in the next video.